Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to explain to you how to calculate the exact circumference of an ellipse with a formula that I have established. So first I'm going to introduce this formula and then I'm going to uh, demonstrate and explain how I came up with it. So let's start. So the formula is the circumference C of an ellipse is 4 times pi over 2 power B over A times A, where A is the semi-major axis of the ellipse and B is the semi-minor axis of the ellipse. Okay, so let's see how I came up with this uh, formula, so demonstration and explanation. So first we will take a two-dimensional plane on which we will draw a circle that we call small c with a radius a. And what I would like to do is I would like that we look at the circle, so we observe it uh, through z axis where z axis crosses the center of the circle. So just to, um, to draw what I just said, uh, to make it uh, easier to understand, uh, so this is uh, us, okay, so the, uh, the observer, okay, and so we are looking at this circle, huh? so we are looking at it through a z-axis which is crossing the center of the circle. And so what we will do, we will um, tilt or rotate the y-plane, okay, so this y-plane, we're going to rotate it by an angle theta around the x-axis. And so by doing so, the, uh, the uh, circle C becomes an ellipse with a semi-major axis A and a semi-minor axis B. And so this is exactly how I'm going to approach uh, this problem. This is exactly how I'm going to, uh, uh, to, to, to demonstrate this. Uh, so we can say that calculating the circumference of an ellipse is calculating the observed or the observable circumference of a circle from a different angle. Okay. So let's do this animation again, but uh, adding two, three details. So the first thing I would like, I would like to do is to, uh, to draw the, um, the vertical radius of this uh, circle. Uh, so just draw the, the radius again, but vertically, you know, uh, that we can uh, see uh, here. And uh, we're gonna tilt this again. Uh, so rotate the Y plane around the X axis with, a, with an angle theta. And so we said that this becomes an ellipse with a semi-major axis A, okay, so uh, A actually was the, the radius of the circle huh, before it becomes an ellipse. So, uh, so it becomes an ellipse with a semi-major axis A and a semi-minor axis uh, B. But uh, where I would like to bring your attention is that the length B uh, is actually um, the height reached by the, um, by, by the vertical uh, radius A after rotating it with an angle Theta. And so if we want to calculate the value of B, it's not really complicated because actually the, the ratio between B uh, and A, so the ratio B to A, is actually the cosine of the angle theta. So calculating the, uh, the length B would be actually B equal to A times cosine theta. Okay, so just to summarize quickly what I just said, so after rotating the y plane around the x axis by an angle, so by the angle theta, observed from the z axis passing through uh, the, the, the center of the circle, the circle C with the radius A becomes an ellipse with a semi-major axis A and a semi-minor axis B, where B is equal to A times cosine theta. Okay. So, uh, so then we can say that uh, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, circumference of the uh, ellipse depends on the uh, value of theta, so it depends on the rotation of the, uh, by the angle theta, uh, of the circle uh, C, okay? So of, of the drawn on the Y plane uh, around the X axis. So from this statement, from the state, from the statement, we, uh, we will actually, um, uh, rotate uh, the circle uh, with different angles. Of course, I did not pick up random angles, I just uh, took angles, um, specific angles that will uh, support my demonstration. So let's start, uh, so, so let's take again uh, the, this, uh, this drawing and uh, let's rotate the uh, Y plane with an angle theta which is equal to zero degrees. 
So rotating it by zero degrees simply means not rotating it at all. And so if I ask you uh, what would become the, the semi-minor axis B, well, it didn't change, huh? it didn't change, so B is equal to A, okay, so when the angle theta is equal to zero, B is equal to A. So here we can't really speak about semi-major axis and semi-minor axis because there is no major and minor one, they are both the same. And so this is what you can commonly call a circular ellipse, okay? If we want to stick with a, um, with, uh, to, if you want to, to, to set up some regularities and speak about ellipses, okay? So this is what we would call a circular ellipse, where the semi-minor axis uh, uh, B is equal to the semi-major axis A. And if I ask you to calculate the circumference of uh, this ellipse, of this uh, circular ellipse, uh, you will tell me, well, uh, this is a circle, so if I want to calculate the circumference, I will simply use uh, the, um, the, the classic formula of calculating the circumference of a circle. So uh, the circumference C is 2 pi A. That's it, where A is the radius of the circle. All right, so let's... Um, do another one, but this time the angle theta is 90 degrees. So if I rotate the y plane by 90 degrees around the x axis, this ellipse would become completely flat. Uh, and uh, so when the angle theta is equal to 90 degrees, uh, B completely disappears, and so we, we don't see any semi minor axis at all, so B is equal to zero. Uh, so uh, this is what we call a flat ellipse. I mean, I don't know if we call, but me, I call it a flat ellipse. And uh, if I ask you to calculate the circumference of uh, this flat ellipse, you would tell me, well, uh, uh, we can imagine that this is uh, spinning around, uh, so that's, that's, uh, that's 1 times a, 2 times a, then 3 times a, and then you complete your turn, so 4 times a. Okay, so the circumference of this ellipse uh, is 4 times a. All right, so now let's uh, take a different angle theta, which is bigger than zero degrees and less than 90 degrees. Uh, and uh, if, we, if we do this uh, rotation, so we would obtain an ellipse, okay, which is not flat huh, and which is not uh, circular uh, neither. And uh, in this case, uh, so when theta, uh, if theta is bigger than zero degrees and less than 90 degrees, then uh, the semi-minor axis B is bigger than zero and smaller than A. And in this case, if I ask you to calculate the, the circumference of this ellipse, uh, or if to, to, to suggest at least uh, an idea, uh, you tell me, well, uh, this is bigger than a flat ellipse, huh? so that's bigger uh, than, than this one, so it's bigger uh, than 4A, but it's not as... Uh, it's not as big as a circular ellipse, huh? so this uh, ellipse here would be smaller than a circular ellipse, so smaller than 2 pi a. And that's cool, because now at least we have limits, okay? So we know between what and what we are searching, okay? So we can say that based on the value of theta, where theta is comprised between 0 degrees and 90 degrees, the circumference C of the ellipse is comprised between 4a, okay, so between a flat ellipse and 2 pi a circular ellipse, where a is bigger than 0 and b is comprised between 0 and a. So 0 for the case of a flat ellipse and a for the case of a circular ellipse. All right, so uh, let's keep those figures and let's try to come up with a common equation that could satisfy these three situations. So this is what I proposed first. So let's see what I wrote here. Here I rewrote um, the circumference C of a circular ellipse as 4 times pi over 2 multiplied by A. And this is exactly the same as this. I mean, uh, 4 times pi over 2 times A is equal to 2 times uh, pi times A. And it's exactly the same. So I'm not changing the result of this. It's exactly the same thing. Okay, so let's move to the next one, to the flat ellipse. For the flat ellipse, I just decided to rewrite 4a as 4 times 1 times a. Again, I'm not changing the value of this uh, circumference. And finally, for the case of uh, 
a regular ellipse. Huh? So what I call a regular ellipse is not a flat ellipse or not a circular ellipse. Uh, is uh, the circumference uh, is four times n times a, where n is bigger than one, because this is not a flat ellipse, huh? so uh, it must be bigger than one, and n is smaller than pi over two, because it's smaller than the circular ellipse. All right, that's cool. So, uh, so just to summarize this one quickly, then I can suggest that based on the value of theta, where theta is comprised between zero degrees and 90 degrees, the circumference C of the ellipse is C equal to four times N times A, so four times a factor N times A, uh, uh, A is the semi-major uh, 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 axis of the ellipse, where A is bigger than zero, naturally, and N, so this factor N, would be equal to pi over 2 when the angle theta is equal to 0 degrees. The factor n would be equal to 1 when the angle theta is equal to 90 degrees. And n, so this factor n, is bigger than 1 and smaller than pi over 2 when the angle theta is bigger than 0 degrees, so not a flat ellipse, and smaller than 90 degrees, so smaller than a circular ellipse uh, in this case. So not a circular ellipse in this case, sorry. Uh, okay, so let's take uh, so let's take what you just wrote here and we continue uh, developing this. So we can use the exponential function to keep n comprised between 1 and pi over 2 by suggesting n equal to pi over 2 power p where uh, power, uh, yeah, p, sorry, where p is uh, comprised between 0 and 1. So, uh, basically, I said that uh, one uh, that n, sorry, is comprised between 1 and pi over 2. So, to keep it comprised between 1 and pi over 2, so to make uh, n equal to 1, p would be equal to 0. So, p, uh, if p is equal to 0, so power 0, will give me 1, and if uh, p uh, is equal to 1, well, power 1, uh, pi over 2 will not, uh, will not change, and so uh, n would be equal to pi over 2. Okay, so if I suggest n equal to pi over 2 uh, power p, this would give me, uh, so this uh, would become uh, c equal to 4 times pi over 2 power p times a, where a is bigger than 0, and P uh, is comprised between 0 and 1. Okay. So, given that, here what I did, I just brought back the previous, uh, the, the previous um, figures. Huh? So, given that when, when the angle theta is equal to 0, we saw that my ellipse would be circular, so equal to uh, 4 times pi over 2 times a. And so, here the factor n, so the factor n is equal to pi over 2, and so, if I simply put, uh, if I simply bring this equation here, uh, here, uh, so I, uh, I, I continue it here. So, uh, in which case, uh, in which case, uh, what value of p would give me uh, pi over two power p is equal to pi over two? Well, in this case, is when p is equal to one. And uh, okay, so let's continue with the next one. So we saw that in the case of a flat ellipse, when the angle theta is equal to 90 degrees, this factor n, uh, so the circumference is equal to 4 times 1 times a, so this factor n is equal to 1. And so again, if I, 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 uh, I write this uh, product here, and I write it here, okay, I bring it here, so 4 times 1 times a is equal to 4 times pi over 2 power p times a, so in which case pi over 2 power p would give me 1. So, in the case of uh, p uh, equal to 0. Okay. And now let's continue this. Uh, so, when the angle theta is uh, bigger than 0 degrees but less than 90 degrees, so n, okay, so this factor n is bigger than 1, okay, because this is not, uh, this is bigger than a flat ellipse, and smaller than pi over 2, because, uh, again, this is uh, smaller than a circular ellipse. 
Okay, and so in that case, if I bring uh, again uh, this, uh, the, this product, uh, bring it here, uh, then uh, the power uh, P, uh, so P is bigger than zero, so to not get one, uh, because N is bigger than one, and uh, P is less than one, uh, to not get pi over two, because N is less than pi over two. All right, so now here is what you're gonna do. We will just keep those numbers and we will try to connect them, okay? Because now we have so many numbers, so many uh, substitutions, so many uh, uh, things, okay? So we're gonna try to find the link between everything. So how is it? So just summarize this one quickly. We just said that uh, when the angle theta is equal to zero, in this case, huh, uh, P is equal to one. And in the case of a flat ellipse, when the angle theta is equal to 90 degrees, P is equal to zero. And when the uh, angle theta is bigger than zero degrees and less than 90 degrees, then P is bigger than zero and less than one. Do we have something, a function that gives me uh, when I have zero degrees, the result is one, when I have 90 degrees, the result is zero, and when I have an angle between zero degrees and 90 degrees, the result is between zero and one? Yes, we do have one, and that's the cosine function. So we can suggest that P is equal to cosine theta, where theta is comprised between zero degrees and 90 degrees, and so this would give us, so uh, I rewrite this uh, formula, huh? so I rewrite this one as four times pi over two power cosine theta times a, where a is bigger than zero, and theta is comprised between zero degrees and 90 degrees. Okay, so we are progressing here little by little. So let's keep this last the, 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 this last formula, okay? And let's remind something. Just remember at the very beginning, uh, after rotating uh, the, the y plane around the x axis by an angle uh, theta, observed from the z axis, which is crossing the center of uh, the circle, uh, this circle C became an ellipse with a semi-major axis A and a semi-minor axis B, and we have established that B is equal to A times cosinus theta. So if B is equal to A times cosinus theta, then cosinus theta is equal to B over A. And so we can rewrite this equation as, so just by replacing cosinus theta by B over A, uh, we can rewrite it as C, the circumference of, a, of an ellipse, is equal to four times pi over two power b over a times a. And so that's all. So this is uh, how I came up with uh, the, the, the formula to calculate the exact circumference of an ellipse. So again, the circumference c, uh, the circumference c of an ellipse is equal to four times pi over two power b over a times a, where a is the semi-major axis of the ellipse, and B is the semi-minor axis of the ellipse. That's it for this demonstration. So I hope that you have enjoyed uh, this uh, demonstration. Uh, please do not hesitate to share your feedbacks in the comment section. If you think that I made uh, mistakes or my, uh, my method is not correct, or I skipped something, or I misunderstood something, or something is not clear, please do not hesitate to let me know. And uh, meantime, I tell you, take care.